but SK actually is going ramp. And get right, he's gonna see Savage who was on the flank. That was a little unlucky for Savage. Flank all the way and not really even get to do anything. Mo kills get right from the vent. TB is in the long haul behind the door, but I don't think he's gonna see the planner from where he is. Mo goes down. Face gets taken out a little unlucky there the way he died. Robin replies, it's a two versus one right now. Robin and Forrest against TB. TB just looking the wrong way, gonna get taken out by Robin, and it's gonna make it 6-4 to four and force Tyloo on another save round. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Faye's still sitting at 1-8, and eight. I mean, that's, he's gotta be pretty depressed, I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't doubt it has to be affecting him a little bit. I mean, having one bad half, that's whatever, but this is getting borderline. Ridiculous. Yeah. Tyloo kind of just sitting in spawn, probably talking about a couple things, talking about what's not working. It's it's a good use of ecos. I mean, you can take a timeout, but you're probably not winning a full USB eco on nuke, so you can kind of just, you know, save your timeout maybe for the third map. You know, if you really like, you know what I mean? It's maybe not yeah a great time to use it on a second map that you might not win anyway. Yeah, while the eco round's going on, if uh, you guys want, you can subscribe to Winout, uh, or I mean, justin.tv slash winoutnet, and check out winout.net for get premium. It's like five bucks, or less than five bucks for saying, you know, pro strat videos, clips, and stuff like that. All the stuff you're seeing in here, all the great rounds you see in these HLTVs and the casts that you watch get clipped and, you know, round analysis. We don't really do a great job of round analysis just because we're just talking about stuff as it's going on, but it goes a bit more in-depth. And this is gonna be another round for SK. Tyloo is trying to score some guns here, but... We'll see. Yeah. I mean, I, I've always done it like this, where if you're on a USB Ego on almost any map, like Inferno is a good example, I like to just kind of stack a site, and then if they planted the other ones, like stack an entrance and just try and get. By the guns, way, Faye still gets taken out at the end of that <laughs> round to make his score one to nine now, and yeah, he's things not just are not mate. working out at all for Faye. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Did you hear what I said though? Like, do you? you that's, I, I find it a lot more valuable if you can just get one or two AKs. It helps your economy a lot more if you can save that than you know, getting one or two kills and all dying. Yeah. SK That's once going. again. Doing the same slow sh the spamming, taking like they know it's working. Tylo doesn't know how to stop it, so it's a good way to go for them right now. Executing out inner force gets a pick on the savage. Robin spamming one through the hut or something, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Faze getting dinked to nineteen from the ramp spam. Two kills going out. From TB. Got a nice double kill. I didn't see it. I think there was a lineup though. Double pen and the Vents. Vents is a really good spot to clutch in a in an even battle, at least. You can just kinda bob your head up and down. Almost impossible to kill that. <laughs> I mean, pretty much every time I've seen someone bob their head up and down, I, I have never seen someone just kill him. Guy tries to do a zero HP drop, but doesn't yep. do it. Delpen takes him out. I'll laugh if TB kills face here. Nope, not looking the right way, but he might kill Robin. If he peeks, nope, he's gonna play it safe. It's gonna be yet yeah. another round for SK. Yeah, this map is looking more and more like SK is actually playing properly. I mean, I th I'm assuming Robin has a couple bomb plants here, but... I mean, overall they've been looking pretty good. I mean, Force does only have seven or six kills, but he's been getting you know that one entry almost every time they take inner. He's been getting a, like a quick frag. So yeah. I mean, as you Yelp, can see, Yelp score doesn't always King <laughs> Face with a double kill. Shut Mo down in 19 health. Face finally doing something of value. And is he gonna get the bomb down? Mo is actually under ladder, Forrest and I think Forest is gonna be able to kill. 
<laughs> Faze gets spammed by Mo. <laughs> a little unlucky there. Forrest is gonna be gonna flank both Tylo players here though. Yeah. I like how Forrest just like he must play on he's played online so many times he must know the sound because he just started running and then went up the ladder. I mean online I got you gotta assume the guy would just turn instantly because obviously. Yeah, it's just a different game. I mean for those of you who haven't played LAN tournaments where there's a lot of noise you like after after a while you get really used to it and you just learn how you can abuse it because you can get to places so much faster you can flank faster you don't really have to walk it's just it changes the game and it sometimes looks weird on HLTV when you hear someone and you're like oh how, how, does he, how is he not hearing it but it's because it's just very loud in most tournaments yep and if you can hear footsteps it's usually faint so the far away running doesn't you can't hear those like crickets in the fucking T spawn like you can online. Yeah. No, that definitely doesn't exist. <laughs> Mo tries to rush up the vent to T roof. Forrest says no. Gera gets taken out, so does Robin. They lose a couple of people too. Face gets on player. the board. Forrest takes the TB. TB. TB really whiffs on Forrest there. King's left in a one versus three. Gets one, yeah, but Forrest, Forrest takes him out and SK's done a really good job this job this half. They were down 3-0, and they have 10 rounds now with a very good chance of s scoring 11. Sort of similar yeah. to what Tylo did in the first map. Yeah, I mean, SK mu must have just really... They took the first couple rounds low, tried to not like fall into any stacks, and I think that really helped uh, the game plan. I think if they didn't do those spam rounds and tried to go straight in their strats, Tylo might have got a couple more rounds. SK straight executing on inner. Robin taking one out, one top ladder, get taken out. Five rounds for Ty Lu. Not the worst possible half, but I mean, they can't be happy with this. No, I, I think it's definitely enough for SK, put it this way. Yeah. I, th I think Ty Lu. I, I think the old Ty Lu was a lot better, Terry's side team, and that's solely because of Alex. I think. They're probably lacking a little bit in the uh, strat department now. I think Inferno is one of those little, a little bit easier maps where, you know, you can just walk places and work off picks and just trade kills. Whereas Nuke, I feel like you need a lot of coordination and team play. Um, and for future updates on when we're going to stream, Make sure you subscribe to justin.tv slash winoutnet and that's how you always find out when we're going to be streaming so you don't have to always necessarily be checking out community sites to see our blogs or forum posts. You'll, you can just get notifications when our streams go live. SK now, just ready to go. Wait, anxious to go live. All of us running around and spawn killing the, A killing the AFK Chinese players who are just yeah, talking about the second, talking about what to do in the second half here on Nuke. Before we use that, uh, for those of you who might have wondered why we didn't do uh, any of the other WCG matches, I mean, most of them were pretty boring, to be honest. Like the groups were really pretty much set in who was going to get first and second. I mean, there was a little bit of strangeness in the Project KR group, I guess. But even then, those weren't like top teams battling it out. It was like you know, immunity and entity, you know, the, I don't know, none of those games would have been exciting pretty much, so we thought there, we there were, to there, were match, there were matches we could have done, like a couple of them, but then Sempus had a match in ESCA Invite earlier that happened to collide with um, Virgis Pro against ESC, which is what we deemed the most interesting match of the day, so that kind of yeah. messed with our plans as well. was scheduled before WCG groups and times and all that shit was announced to me, so yeah. I would have tried to schedule around it, but I really had no idea it was going to start this early, sort of like seven, like around the time my match went live. It looks like pistol rounds underway, it looks like Tyler's got a couple of USPs and nades, um, Probably looking to hit towards inner, it seems. They're gonna do a little, maybe a little flash execute. Maybe only like one or two flashes, but yeah, they're lurking in here. Yep, here they go. They're gonna bust out into inner. Face oh, he's got the head kill. on the roof. Get right with two frags there. 
and that's just going to be a quick crown. Spot. Yeah, yeah, it's really hard spot to kill from below. Gara with a third USB headshot there. Because you can only shoot their team. feet. You cannot headshot yeah. them when their head's in the roof like that. So, uh, I believe you may be able to get headshot from Mini. I'm not sure. It's like kind of it's kind of random if you do. I think. Yeah. Because I think I think the angle lines up, but you still don't see their head properly. That should be a pretty easy eco round for them. I mean, Tyloo's full Glock saving. The only way you really win ecos on uh, T side with Glocks is by killing, like overwhelming one guy getting his gun, and the guy who gets a gun just kills everyone else. <laughs> it's pretty much. Oh, uh, Force actually gets Goose to 16. Wow, they take out Robin under a ladder. This is really bad here. Forrest is surviving somehow. <laughs> Forrest with just 9 health somehow stays alive through all of that. Get right, comes yeah, to right. rescue, gets a couple I kills can't there. Believe he, I, th I can't believe Forrest even got any kills after that. He actually ended up getting 3 and he got shot to 16 at the very start of that round. If they just had one nade, I don't know, that round would have turned out a lot different, I think. Obviously you don't want to just buy a random nade from Naruto, yeah. but you know. Or maybe Tyloo. you do an ESCA Pugs for ADI. And Tyloo is going to be in a buy here. They have Kings in the lobby, Savage outside of lobby, spamming for a ram push, and three people working outside. SK has Face playing, Face and Delpan playing upper. Get right outside, he gets the first kill. Going yeah, for the he second. He really loves playing in this area, I guess. Taking out Robin gets two f big frags outside from top ladder. Force rotating back to ramp, probably going to push it here. Delpan gets taken out on the late. Send a 2v3 for staking out King, trying to lurk ramp, other guy going to try and walk into Savage. mini. Savage is the last man alive in 1 versus 3, and he's going to be spotted by FaZe here in a second. FaZe gets the kill, but Savage is down to 6 health, and it's going to be a very hard round for him. I don't even think FaZe has broken double digits so far in both these maps. I'm not sure what his T-side kills were, but I think...